As parents, we've all found ourselves uh, probably allowing our kids to engage in more screen time than we'd like to during the pandemic. And now that, you know, of course, a lot of kids are learning virtually, that just adds to what could be a complicated situation for those of you at home who feel like your kids are always doing this instead of actually engaging you in any kind of conversation. Dr. Jorge uh, Diaz is a child and adolescent psychiatrist with Baptist and Wolfson Children's Hospital. Joining us uh, via Zoom this morning to discuss research that's revealing long-term exposure to too much too much technology can have long-term effects, Doc. Good morning. Thanks for joining us. Good morning. So Thank what, you for the invitation. <laughs> yeah, in, in, what are indeed, the uh, exposure, especially in children and children, uh, let's say, under age two that have been exposed almost on daily basis for TV, uh, watching TV, this can definitely affect in the development of uh, developmental uh, for a speech, for example, for uh, cognitive and as well uh, for um, uh, motor uh, coordination. So doctor, then how much is too much time? And let's, let's talk about children, uh, given that many of them are learning virtually that are older than two, but let's say elementary and middle school students, how much is too much screen time? In, in general, is, is the guideline recommends to uh, limit as much as, as much as much as possible uh, the screen time in under age two. Uh, with uh, ages two to five, uh, they are recommended on the latest update uh, for to limit for non-educational screening for one hour for uh, weekdays and no more of uh, three hours on the week uh, weekends. And what and about advice that you have for parents who, you know, want to avoid that meltdown with their child when they're saying, no, you've exceeded the amount of time that we've established. You got to turn it off to either the computer, the phone or the TV. You know, as parents, it's important to, um, in a way, engage uh, to get into their children uh, unique uh, screening world in terms of uh, if they are watching a YouTube video, if they are uh, playing a video game to have a smooth transition, I will recommend to have a gradual type of transition that you can ask questions about the game they are playing and in a way start setting up the limits or the boundaries that they're going to switch to a different transition like getting a bath or getting it to sit down and eat with the family in, in a few minutes, right? Uh, I think uh, as well, it's important that uh, this uh, screen time should not be used as pacifier or replacing a babysitter. Dr. Jorge Diaz, a child and adolescent psychiatrist with Baptist and Wilson Children's Hospital, thank you for your time this morning.